Hello everyone and welcome to this new video. We are going to present to you the new schedule tool in Autodesk Build. For those of you that are not familiar with Autodesk Build, it's part of the new Autodesk Construction Cloud unified platform that comprises different functionalities from document management with Autodesk Docs and then in Autodesk Build, which is the component more focused for construction, we have this new exciting functionality called Schedule Tool. So I leave the links in the description below for you to check out all the things I'm going to show you today, but it's really exciting. It, it was launched now in September. And what is really important about this new schedule tool is the ability to connect with different types of files that have the construction schedule. So before we were very focused into the document management functionality in systems and the CDE or common data environment part of it. But wouldn't you be excited as well to know that now with Autodesk Build, you can also interact with the schedule components and cost components, which we will review in another video as well. So the very important part of having a schedule or construction schedule of your project inside a tool like Autodesk Build is that you can do things like what is mentioned here. You can first import information from different file types like Primavera P6, Asta Power Project, Microsoft Project, and uh, XML files. So this is really interesting. And then you can filter that information to the relevant items only that you need in the system. You can connect different references inside Autodesk Build to the schedule. And by references, we mean other functionality inside Autodesk Build, like submittals, RFIs, sheets, assets, and more. So when you have different items that are important milestones for your project, and you can share that with the entire project team, it's really fantastic what you can achieve, especially in a cloud solution like Autodesk Build that's connected with your mobile, with your desktop. And if we go to more high level use of this schedule, besides just coordinating matters, it's this, the ability to connect the schedule with cost. So we'll be producing more videos to show you these functionalities later on, but I just want you to know that these functionality is now available inside Autodesk Build. So if you have a trial version, you can check it out. It will look something like this. So I'm just going to go inside Autodesk Construction Cloud. So Autodesk Construction Cloud is this unified platform, uh, cloud base, of course, where you have your different project uh, data divided by different areas like we can see here. So as I mentioned before, there are other things like docs and cost management. Docs is basically your files and sheets in one place. But because today we're talking about the new schedule functionality, I'm showing you the Autodesk build component. And here we have different things like, of course, the sheets as well and the files, which are connected to that Autodesk Docs area because it's a common data environment. It's one platform where you have all your information, all your stakeholders. But in build, you also have issues. They can be quality issues, safety issues. You have specific forms that you need to do like checklists in the site. You have photos from the site, RFIs or requests for information, submittals, meetings, assets, reports, and more. But this schedule functionality is the new one. So if I just click in it, this is how it will look like inside the system. And this is where you're going to start importing your first schedule from the different file types that I mentioned before. It's really exciting to start interacting with this new functionality. And if you need to know more details about file types that you can import and what information will be imported from those file types, I'm going to leave you this link as well, which is the Autodesk Build help link. And you can see the Primavera P6, Microsoft Project, and Asta Power Project, and the specific items that come uh, with a check mark, for example, activity ID, start date, finish date, etc. And again, imagine how powerful the tool is becoming when you have functionality like this, connecting with Coast and other items. So we'll continue to update you in this new functionality and I hope you explore it as well. See you next time.